What going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Asas Pixel Studio. It's another retouching tutorial. So today we're going to be focusing on how to retouch your images. Alright, so how to retouch your images. I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process, the pre and post process of retouching that can get you a pro-like edit. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you're intermediate or you don't have any idea on retouching. This video can actually get you started and teach you the basics of retouching <clears throat> all right so let's get started the first before, before that please if you are new to the channel please subscribe if you like the, our videos kindly share all right so let's take note of what we're going to be doing the first thing i would like to point out the aim we're going to be doing makeup we're going to be doing uh working on the texture and the color and we're also going to be working on the face contour and also doing dodging and burning so bear with me i'm going to be more precise and fast but doesn't matter you are still going to understand the full concept of the video all right so let's dive right into it now i'm going to show you the fault now take a look at the below the shoulders you see a lot of airs and it's covering a lot of it's just looking distracting to the image is stealing away the beauty of the peaks okay so now also her eyes is also not white and we have color variation the cheek is red this side is this is the real color of her skin the, does this place i'm holding my mouse over and also we also need to work on the eyelashes and do some makeup and also you know make the create depth in the image so i'm going to be showing you how this and let's get started so now let's try to balance the color so for us to balance the color i'm going to create the hue and saturation adjustment layer and this allows me to see the deficiency should i say deficiency the default of in the color so i'm going to pick the and two and i'm going to select a place so it's going to bring up this slider and bring up the red i'm going to increase and now you can notice something that there are some places that are you know just deep blue and some some are light blue but since we i'm going to turn it off but since we want the color of the skin to look alike like this like the this side i'm going to increase let's turn it back on i'm going to adjust the slider till I find this is going to give me the red so I'm going to take it backwards till it gives me select the red part and leaves the light part we want so something like this yeah so now if I zoom out you can see that the rest color that are not selected that are not in the green are this type of color which is this light color okay so also this side is we need to bring it backward if there need be take it upward that's too much so something like this all right so now that we have it i'm going to make this value zero and now we could increase it up till everything blends to that color so this is okay let's see before and after the red are gone so let's zoom out because it matters a lot how we see it from far so i guess that it's too much i'm gonna bring it back go back to the red and you no know, bring it back a little and there we go <clears throat> now we can remove it from the lips so grab the brush tool and select the mask make sure the foreground color is black now we're going to hide it from the lips like this so i'm going to hide it from the lips and let's turn it off and on so we need to make it the eye look natural by introducing that and introducing this let's turn it off and on and see so let's just put a line for blushing like this and put another line for blushing let's turn it off and on i think this top part okay so now we're good all right so now i'm going to create a stand visible layer for that or in, instead of doing that let's work now a little on the air and the texture or the blemishes okay so i'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer for that and then i'm going to increase this slide i'm going to take this slider backward and i'm going to take this forward and let's take this backward so you can see that you're going to see the blemishes below let me take it down see the blemishes below and on the cheek as well okay so now i'm going to fix that let's close it and pick the patch tool and with the patch tool i'm going to select the image and i'm going to draw a circle and you are going to drag so it's just going to replace that so i'm going to quickly do all this and then i'm going to come back 
so mind you you need to do this before doing frequency separation so i'm going to drag this backward backward don't just do don't do this don't do frequency separation without doing this otherwise it's not going to make your work easy and perfect but it's still going to get you what you want all right so i just finished doing that adjusting and sometimes i use the spot healing tool and sometimes i use the patch healing tool so i can show you the before and after but i'm going to drag in an image so you can see the before and after all right so drag in this image back and we have the before and after so let me zoom in you can see the before and then the after we removed a lot but we still have some particles of which we are going to still remove when doing frequency separation and that would be a lot more easy this took me like uh, let's say 20 minutes but you can take your time and you know still continue doing more uh, if i was to be addicting i'm going to remove this one but let's just continue doing what we know how to do best so i'm going to get rid of this black and white of which we have done with it and then i'm going to do frequency separation so let's create this time visible layer control shift or down e to create this time visible layer and then i'm going to hit control j twice name this color so we're doing frequency separation now but i'm going to fast forward this because we already know how to do frequency separation name this texture so frequency separation for those who don't know is separating the texture and the color so you can work on them independently so turn on the texture layer select the color layer go to filter blur and i talked about blur value did i just choose blur let's do it again filter blur gaussian blur yeah so now for you to get the right blur just because we have some air we need to adjust i'm going to take it to that side where we have air now until you see the air almost fading out so something like this so that it will be easier for you to blend so i'm going to do it something like this and then i'm going to hit okay because it will be easier for me to blend when i have it so i'm going to turn this on select the texture layer go to image apply image and i'm going to select under the merge select color and under multiply select subtract and it's okay so i'm going to, i'm now going to change the blending mode to linear light now bear in mind i'm just going to do this for where this side alone because i don't want the image to look flat this is not the blow value i'm supposed to use for the rest part of the face just for this side so watch as i do the blending it's going to blend it easily you can see what it's doing to the image it's going to blend it easily compared to the rest part of the body all right so i just blurred that side a little i'm going to grab the texture and grab the clone stamp tool and let's fill in some texture all that out and i'm just going to quickly remove those textures so you can see the effect of it all right so i just quickly did this side and not too much so now let's continue create a stem visible layer i'm going to group these two together which is our frequency separation f r e q s e p i hope you are following so now we have i'm going to turn off this all this effect so we have from here to here now there are some places that are less saturated example like this side and all this side i want it to be saturated like this top part so i'm going to do the um adjustment by creating here saturation adjustment and it's going to be like this you can see the layer marks and now you're going to go to filter i'm sorry select color range and i'm going to select where is that side so you can see automatically selecting there you can hold down shift and select more area and bring down the fuzziness like this and there we go okay so it's okay on the keyboard it's going to create the marks automatically and then you can go ahead pick the and tool and select that area and increase the saturation and see what happens you can see that it's adjusted all the saturation to the skin so this is a trick uh, a bonus trick for you all right so now create this time visible layer and now let's do our frequency separation proper so control j twice name this color c o l o r enter name this texture T E S T U R E, it's enter. And now I'm going to turn this off, select the color layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to blur it till you can see the face feature, something. Let's take it up 
something like this should be fine eight let's see below so let's take it for eight it should be good it's okay then select texture layer turn it on go to image apply image and we're going to select under the layer select the color and leave it to subtract just take these settings and it's okay change the blending mode to linear light so the more you blow the more texture you have the lesser you blow the less texture you have so let's continue now i'm going to select the color and the texture group it which is a new frequency separation and let's name it new fs fs and hit enter so on the color here i'm going to select and select my mixer tool brush and now i'm going to start blending the skin together so i'm going to come back to the image after i finish blending to show you what i did all right so i quickly did, did this and it's still just you know you can take your time for the sake of the tutorial i'm just gonna leave it like this for the now so i just did a lot of things and you can see the frequency separation we just did so you can go on and on but let's continue i'm gonna press the visible layer and now i'm gonna make the eyes you no know, and the teeth whiter okay so let's do that i'm gonna create um the solid color adjustment and it's okay turn it off double click to click on the eye and take this up a little it's okay turn it on change the blend mode to divide so you're gonna have it like this but now it's too much so i'm gonna take it up a little and bring it down and there we go it's okay so you can see before and after so now the image is a little bit alive so it's come it's just you know brighter kind of so you can retain the color by creating the hue and saturation and clipping it and you can mess around with the you know the opacity of this so i'm just going to bring it down below so we can have so i'm going to group these two together and let's compare so not too much the color is this is still there open it up let's bring it down a little to brighten up the image so like this should be fine it's okay now for the eyes like i said uh, i'm still going to do one more so let's do one more okay i'm going to drag it up above and off it double click select the eyes it's okay turn it on in fact the mask control i in fact the mask let's select the brush tool and i'm going to paint on the eyes so select the black and white make sure the foreground color is white and then paint on the eyes like this on the eyes and this side as well so if the teeth is there you can also do that for the teeth but now to now change the blend mode to divide it's gonna be very bright okay so but don't worry about that you have to zoom out to see how it balances with the image so take it up and this should be fine for me and you can see how bright the highs is so you can take it up a little bit as well and that is okay so before and after to brighten it up so one more thing you can do you can add the photo filter and you know change the blend the filter to one and let's copy the mask hold down the mask and drag it hold down alt drag the mask to the rest and click replace and it's going to be white so if you want it if it's too bright you can bring it down like 50 percent okay so like this so i'm going to group these two together this is for eyes whitening and now let's create this time visible layer control shift to turn it e and then go to filter go to camera raw filter so there we have camera raw filter go to basic tab and now we're going to increase the highlight uh, sorry decrease the highlight i don't want to get rid of this brightness so i guess it's the white part so i'm going to leave it like this and let's try to bring up the shadows and bring down the blacks okay minus four this is too much okay so um we could increase the texture and there we go so i'm going to close this go to curve and create an x curve just a bit and bring the darks down to, to create um, the contrast so open up the color mixer and let's start with the orange the red i mean so i'm going to bring this down backwards go to the saturation increase it a bit so that's going to affect the lips and also let's work on the color go to the hue of the color and i think i'm going to leave the orange just 
increase the yellow so it goes towards the orange go to the saturation and increase this one to uh, don't take it too much because it's going to look fake but i'm going to leave it somewhere nine plus nine okay so somewhere here yeah, this is too much so just take it somewhere let's leave it at 10 yeah 10 should be fine and increase the yellows at 12 so is at the blues i'm going to decrease the saturation of the blues because of the highs and the aqua as well so something like this and decrease this one decrease the saturation of this one so i'm going to close it and then you can go to gem calibration and if the yellow we can take the yellow backwards and it's going to just fix things up minus six we could increase the blue we'll take it back let's just leave the blues and let's mess around with the greens okay so this should be fine before and then after then it's okay so let's see our image now and then we go with our new image so you can take you can still increase the lightness so let's work on the dodging bone just create a curve layer and take it all the way up like this this one close it double click on it to open up the blending option and let's take it away from the darker side so you can either use this one like this and hold that art to separate and take it all the way up just like this to create uh, to create the highlight so we have before and after so if that's too much you can decrease your opacity just a bit okay so we have it it's there so it's just glowing all right so now i'm going to create this thing let's just combine the two together merge layers and let's see i'm going to turn off everything we've done so you can follow the procedure step by step and this is what we have we have before and then we have after before and after so if the yellow is too much you can change the hue because compared to the other color which is like the red and this one you can go ahead and click and um, select the hue and saturation and you know go to the red and you can change the hue backwards something like this and let's see i'm going to group the two together so we can turn it off and on so it's no more different than before let's open it up again and double click and you keep adjusting till you get the one the, the, the type of color you want so i'm just going to leave it at minus minus six yeah minus five and you can decrease the saturation a bit and now we can turn it off and on so there is not much difference all right guys compared to before and after so see you guys in the next video thank you